Hello comrades, I've been on a journey, I think it's taken me about 25 years, but I feel like I've arrived at my destination, my ultimate personal note taking system. Let me take you through it. It's got two subsystems, a analog and a digital. The analog relies on the trusty pen, a four color pen to help with thinking and also to give you a dimension, uh, extra dimension on the page. Speaking of the page, I love these uh, A4 pages with faint, fine grids to give me some gentle structure and a spiral uh, bound so the book lays flat on the desk. That's the analog part. The digital part is Obsidian. Let me show you. This is Obsidian. And in the article attached to this video, I've gone through the reasons why I think Obsidian is the tool for me. but now that I've been using it for a while, my knowledge base is growing, I want to demonstrate three extra navigation aids that are really vindicating uh, my choice of Obsidian. Those uh, features are outline, tags, and stars. So to start with, let's just get acquainted with Obsidian. This is my uh, vault, Killing Mind, which I have open at the moment, and it's just showing a list of files and folders sitting on my hard drive. There's no tricks here. I can show you that the same set of files and folders sitting on the hard drive um, that, uh, that is visible in Obsidian. So what Obsidian does is work natively with markdown files. So if I open one of these files, you can see that there's some light formatting, markdown style, but I don't give up the fact that everything is plain text and that universality, which is so attractive. I like to view my files with the preview, a rendering uh, side by side, so I can command click this button and get um, a in sync side by side view of the raw markdown and the rendered version. Um, and that's about all I need to pull in all my notes and start to build a knowledge base. Um, as you can see over time I've started to amass quite a few musings in my uh, knowledge base um, and one of the ways that you can get an overview of everything in here of course like all good knowledge base tools is the graph view. Uh, Obsidian's doesn't disappoint uh, this is quite fun I can sort of zoom into an idea here and then kind of tug on it and see uh, what comes with it. Whoa. So it's fun, but it's really not an everyday view. Uh, for, as this knowledge base grows, I need some techniques to help me navigate and find my way and keep it all sorted so that I can access uh, the notes that I put in here. I was pleased to find that the tools I was looking for are all within the core plugins of Obsidian. So if I go into settings here and scroll down to core plugins, the three things that I'm gonna to feature today are all in here outline, tags, and stars. So let's get started. Outline. Outline is excellent for large documents. Something like this is getting a bit unwieldy, even with the preview side by side. It's easy for me to lose track of where I am in this document. I thought I'd be managing that by using folding. You see these little disclosure arrows next to my headings. Uh, they allow me to collapse headings and subheadings um, and zoom in on the ones that I want. I can do that in the rendered view as well. Turns out that's still a bit unwieldy uh, as the document gets large. So what I've done is turned on outline view and with no other effort, over here on the right hand side, if I close one of these guys, is my outline view. I can put this at wherever I like, uh, but I'm, I'm happy with where it is in the default configuration. So I see all my headings uh, automatically and I can navigate to wherever I like in the document. Uh, I can do that side by side with the rendered version as well. So to be honest I think this is probably going to obsolete my use of folding. Uh, it turns itself off by <laughs> anyway from time to time so I think I'll let it turn itself off and I'll stick to the outline because I'm quite happy with the way that works. So that's outline. Number two is tags and I'm, I wish I'd used these earlier, um, I did say lightly, but I'm really starting to see the power of tags now. 
particularly now that I'm starting to insert notes automatically without uh, writing them manually and naming them carefully. Instead, files like this I've clipped from a browser and just sent automatically to my, uh, to my knowledge base. So some of these documents here are oddly named and uh, don't fit in the rest of my knowledge base, but I've automatically tagged them all with the hash uh, somewhere in the document. So this one is tagged as a web clip. Then when I turn on tags, I get a new tab over here on the left called tag pane, which shows all my tags across my knowledge base. And sure enough, you can see one of them here is web clip. If I open up that, then it shows me my three articles, which are web clips, uh, which I can then go through and go, oh, do I still need this? Do I need to summarize it? Do I move it somewhere else? Um, or do I delete it? Of course, that's not the only use of tags, and I can imagine that I'll start to um, find more and more uses as, as I'll be conscious of the fact that I can list things by tags. So that's number two, tags. Number three is stars. So as my knowledge base has grown, I've used some gentle techniques to try and keep it manageable. One is subfolders, so all my uh, images and movies sit in here in a subfolder and that works really, really nicely. I can reference those uh, from anywhere in the document like this and they appear in the rendered version like that. Um, I also archive old notes that I'm not going to refer to anymore um, and I'm also starting to prefix some of my notes by a keyword, the, the type of note. So these, these set of articles here, uh, these set of notes here are articles uh, these sets of notes here are speeches, for example, and that's useful because obviously it orders um, uh, by that keyword at the front. But this is not going to scale. Um, I need still to be able to find the key notes in here that I use every day. So, for example, I spend a lot of time in my daily uh, note-taking note um, and have a couple of notes that I just reference. For example, one is the inbox, which automatically uh, gets inserted with new entries. So what I do now is right click it and click star and when I turn star on the plugin uh, I get a new tab here um, on the left hand side and if I click on that surprise surprise there's all my starred notes. So if I find myself digging through this big list all the time and always looking for one particular note I can right click it star it and then zoom into just those notes that I'm um, referencing, uh, accessing very frequently. And that's it. Outline, tag, stars, three simple call cool plugins um, that are really helping me scale my use of Obsidian. Later.